What's up, duelists? Today, I've got a brand new deck for y'all. I've got a really sweet brew, but before I talk about it, I do want to do a little bit of a shameless self-plug. First things first, if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. Would love to hit 10k by 2023. And then, of course, on the second channel, I just uploaded a Silver Tempest box battle with my friend, the Rare Hunter. It is one of the coolest videos I have ever done. It was a ton of fun. Definitely go check that out if that's something you're interested in. Okay, let's talk about this deck a little bit. This is a quick draw monarch deck. This deck has a lot of potential for explosive plays and it has the power of the monarchs backed by the consistency of, you know, triple upstart, allure of darkness, dark arm, that kind of thing. Let's talk about all the card choices here because each one of them has a specific sort of function in this deck. First things first, triple level eater. The way level eater works in this deck is it's a repeatable tribute fodder. It's a repeatable sort of advantage engine for you. You can combo it with quick draw synchron. So if you discard level eater with quick draw synchron, you can immediately bring back the level eater and make a two card junk warrior. That's not very good. <laughs> That's not a very good combo. However, if you have a monarch in your hand, let's say at Thestalos, you can pitch level eater to quick draw, bring back the level eater, special summon or not special summon, tribute summon Thestalos off the level eater, then special summon the level eater back again, getting free value out of it that way, using the level eater basically as just like a spammable resource that helps you get plus ones off your monarchs. Then we've got triple evil hero infernal prodigy. This guy helps speed up the deck. This means you don't need something like a treeborn frog in the graveyard. He's just another starter to help you vomit out a monarch. We're playing nine copies of the monarchs. Again, as well as the three upstarts and Allure of Darkness to make sure we see them pretty consistently. Debris Dragon is sort of our Monarch number 10 and 11. Debris Dragon sort of functions under cards like Mask of Restrict. It helps you play through things like Bottomless or Big Boards. And it lets you, you know, nuke things that may be problematic with Black Rose Dragon, like opposing opposition. We're not main decking any defense in this deck. This is a hyper offensive deck. We've got the defense in the sideboard, the Gores and the two Battle Faders. But we have no defense in the main deck except for these two DD Crows. I found that DD Crow is actually pretty good at counteracting all of the stuff that people can do to come back against a Monarch. Stuff like Plague Spreader plays, stuff like Mizuki plays, stuff like Vayu plays, stuff like Dark Arm Dragon, JD, that sort of thing, Foolish Wolf, that sort of thing. Anything that your opponent can do to come back from a Monarch can generally be interrupted by one DD Crow. So that's why we've got two copies in the main deck. It is searchable off Sangin. Sangin's like one of the better cards in this deck. It is a bit slow, Sangin is, but you just got to play it. It's too good in strategies like this. And then, of course, you got to play Stratos because it's a free plus one on the summon. Free Pot of Greed. Combos well with Call of the Haunted, which is another powerful card in this deck. For the trap cards, we've just got the best five in the format. For the spell cards, we got the best three. It's a pretty straightforward deck. The sideboard is where things get kind of interesting, but not really. We've got Plasma as a tutorable boss monster. This guy's a lights-out boss monster in some matchups, like Frog Mirrors and that kind of thing. We've got Morbius and Vanity's Fiend to help come in against decks that maybe these cards are good against. We've got Gores and Battle Fader against like the decks that are trying to kill us, of course, and the decks that these cards are good against. Breaker to help against Mask of Restrict, as well as two Royal Decrees. Double Soul Exchange and Double Soul Release. Again, I think the graveyard stuff is how people come back against established Monarch uh, repeatable monarchs swings and the soul releases just help there soul exchange of course to clear stuff like gladiator beasts black wings whatever extra deck fairly standard we're gonna go ahead and grab a few games you know what it is you know what it is december 1st new month new decks it's a good time it's a good time to be alive good time to be alive i'm gonna do some uh, members only stuff this week i missed last week for the members sorry guys but i'm gonna do some members only stuff this week so if you want to like you know support the channel help you know, help out with the tournament prize pools and whatnot. We got a game against Thomas Edison. Good luck, have fun. He's picking scissors. No, he picked rock. I'm picking paper. There's no way he picks paper. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Let's see if we can get one of one of the good starts in this deck, like Evil Guy Thestalos turn one. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be kind of exciting. Nope, no monarchs. Oh wait, there is a monarch. Hmm. Hmm. This is a decent hand. We could set Dandelion and set Solemn Judgment. I think that's, you know, pretty much going to be the play. It is a, it is kind of a hyper offensive deck, so we want to just commit everything as soon as possible and try to tempo people out with the Monarchs plus the Solemn. I think that's the plan. I'm not trying to look to play around anything in particular. I just want to, like, stunt maybe a slow start from the opponent, use the DD Crow to interrupt their comeback, and then win from there for the most part. Evil Guy level leader, kind of dead here, but again, if something terrible happens to our dandelion let's just say there's a dd warrior lady that gets summoned we can always you know come back after that this is gonna be pretty good for us 
This is going to be pretty good for us. Sangin's a good draw that can help get us to quick draw. So we could commit the Sangin now, but I think, again, we're playing a hyper offense deck. I want to banish their starter, which is their set monster. So we'll go Dandy 1, Caius 2, target set monster. Cool. Let's see how this goes. That's going to be the Gokupon. That's not real. This is not a real deck. We're not playing against a real deck right now. I'll, I'll let you guys know. this. Whatever it is we're playing against right now, it's, it's not a real deck. We're just going to hit for 24, and then we are going to pass. Solemn Judgment will just, you know, interrupt their comeback play. Next turn, we'll hit for 34. Hopefully draw another Monarch. Potentially just close out the game next turn. Another set monster. Okay. Another Monarch here would be huge. Not quite. Hmm. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. That being the case, I don't know if we even attack. Because, obviously, their stuff is, like... When this is destroyed by battle, we get an effect. So I'm just going to set Sangin and I'm going to pass. I don't think there's really any reason to attack a set monster from our opponent. I can just, like, monarch it later once I draw a monarch. And if the Sangin ever dies, then I can just search for quick draw and then drill warrior them to death with Solemn backup. So, not too worried. DD Crow looks like it's going to be pretty bad in this matchup. Yeah, exactly why we don't want to attack. Let's see what they attack here. They're going to attack the Dandy tokens. Makes sense. They just want to get rid of the advantage. They're going to pass the turn. Torrential's not bad. It's not bad. Hmm. I could crash Sangin. It's not the weirdest play. They could have D-Prison. That'd be annoying. But that's okay. I think I will try to crash the Sangin. Actually, I'll probably attack with the Caius first. Just to see what they got. They're going to take a thousand. They're going to go get another wind monster from their deck. This can either get, I believe, the Kamakiri or the... I don't know if the Howling Insect is wind or earth. But this can definitely get another Kamakiri. Since they don't have Verdant Sanctuary, there's really nothing they can do off of this. Yeah, it's just going to get another Kamakiri. All right, I am going to crash the Sangin now. And I want to basically get Drill Warrior going. So we can unbreak our hand, more or less. We're going to grab Quick Draw. Oh, we could also grab Debris. Hmm. How good is Debris here? Not very good. I think the, the Drill Warrior is obviously the best thing we can do. Main Phase 2. We will activate Quick Draw in hand, because that's how it works in Edison format. They're going to let that happen. We're going to pitch the Level Eater. Special Summon out Quick Draw. Now we will get our free Level Eater value. Activate Level Eater. Eat a level on Caius. Bring it back. Oh, shit. There we go. Okay, cool. And then we'll synchro into Drizzy Drill. This is for sure the move. Now we can level Eater again. Special Summon. Level Eat the Drill Warrior. And then activate Drill Warrior, pitching probably one of the evil guys. They're going to use Skill Drain. I'm going to solemn that. I don't really want to deal with that. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with that. So we're going to pitch Evil Guy, banish the Drill Warrior, and then probably just set the Torrential and pass. This should be an easy victory for us. Again, their deck doesn't look like it's really doing much of anything like they've had two turns to do something and they just haven't really played a real card against us so i'm not really worried we can always like torrential in case they go for something big i know the verdant sanctuary stuff is i think here eh. I mean, if I Torrential, I just win next turn, right? Because I can level leader and then Caius. Yeah, I'll just Torrential. I'll just Torrential. If they have Road, then they have Road, but I don't think they do. I think if I Torrential here, I just win next turn. Because I can bring back Drill, and then I can level eat the Drill, and then I can sack for Caius and banish one of the back rows, basically. Okay, maybe I won't be doing that. All right. We'll activate Drill. Special Summon out. This will add back, I think, Dandelion. 
or Sangin. I think it's safer to add back Dandelion. We'll go main one. They're gonna lair wire the drill. That's A-OK. -okay. That is A-OK, -okay because we can still Evil Guy Caius this turn. I hadn't considered that though. I hadn't considered that. I think this is a decent, decent play. Sacrifice for Caius. Caius is gonna activate. We'll target the old set, the first one. That might be another layer wire, but can't really know for sure. They're gonna chain return. Uh, sure. That's okay. That's gonna keep them alive for a turn. It's interesting that they had set that on turn one. This does get banished. I am going to use the level eater effect. Special summon itself out. Caius is now one level less. And then of course we are not going to attack either of these monsters because that would just be silly. We'd just be giving the opponent effects for no reason. Cool. So Caius dealt them 18 and banished one of their back rows. We've got a level eater in play in case we draw another monarch. But we've got to do some stuff in order to actually win this. We do need to find another monarch. I mean, our deck's full of them, right? We have seven more monarchs in the deck. Plus, we've got Debris Dragon as well. Beetle, beetle, beetle. Sure. This shouldn't matter too much. We can just run this guy over. If a light or dark monster is special summoned. Okay, so it's not going to affect if we draw like a third Caius or anything. That's cool. That's cool. They attack over the level eater. He says, oh, what a misplay. They're going to reveal Howling Insect. Huh. Yeah, that actually works with our insect. That's kind of funny. It's controller. That's quite funny. Okay, standby phase, main phase one. I think we just win. Uh, I think Stratos is just going to be lethal. But just in case, we'll play it a little bit safe. Bring out the level eater. I'll normal summon Stratos. Activate the effect to search. Opponent's thumbs upping everything like they aren't just dead. <laughs> That's a little concerning. Our deck is packed full of good stuff we can draw. I mean, like, just about everything we can find at this point is good for us. Even quick draw is huge for us. All right, let's try this. Mirror Force. Okay, that makes sense. Makes sense why they are not dead. If they do kill our level eater, we can search another one. which they will, I'm assuming. Hmm. Now what, though? We're actually kind of low. If we didn't... Yeah, I don't know, actually. I need to find a... I need to find a monarch, I think. I need to just find something. It's kind of weird that we're randomly losing to this, but they had some good cards here. They had some good cards. Okay, we're going to be able to search our deck for a level eater and then yeah nice here's solidarity again monarch wins dark armed does that win no <laughs> no it does not sadly that being the case, Dandelion should keep us alive for another turn. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six Darks in Grave. Unfortunately, a little bit off from Dark Armed. We could special summon this guy in defense because this guy will switch him to defense to give us an extra layer. But I legitimately don't think that they can summon more than one monster a turn with that deck, so I'm just going to pass. I don't think they can draw anything that's like a Giga Soul Charge or whatever. They attack the set. We're just going to get a couple Dandy Tokens. We could have also set the level eater, but if they just summon another monster, things start to get scary. Again, we know the Howling Insect. Yep. 
That is an earth, it's not a wind. Good to know. All right. Um, hmm. That's a monarch. So that's gonna work. As long as their back row isn't solemn, this should work. And we should just be able to pick up the game. If it is solemn, well, it's not solemn now, obviously. Let's go ahead and bring back the level eater first. Maybe I need another way of grave control to really take advantage of this dark arm. Maybe an avarice or something. I'm not really sure. Okay, they have Book of Moon. We know they're top decking the dead beetle this turn. So, again, another monarch top deck is huge for us. They do have to run over the Ryza. We do have the level leader and the token in play for defense. We can set yet another card. Okay, quick draw is... is that game? Yeah, I think it is because we can just make Junk Archer. Cool. So we'll special summon this guy. And then we'll make Junk Archer. And that'll be that. We'll go to the next one. Couple of turns there got a little dicey. You could have missed some top decks, but I think our deck is just like too high power level for theirs. They're definitely going to be on Royal Oppression, so I definitely want to be on Royal Decree and Breaker. I don't think the Graveyard stuff is doing too much against them. I also am not sure how well Dark Arm Dragon's going to perform in this matchup specifically. Mobius seems insane. It's going to pop all their back rows. Vanity Fiend actually seems pretty good too. I don't hate Gores. I'm not the biggest fan of Fader here. Soul Exchange is probably fine. So I'm thinking like something like this, these five, six, seven cards, and then we'll take out the crows, we'll take out the dark armed, we'll probably take out, hmm, I'm not sure actually. We could cut all the upstarts, but that like kind of nerfs our invincibility, not invincibility, our speed. I could cut Call of the Haunted, I think it's like one of the weaker cards, I think these three trap cards are still good even with the two decrees. Maybe Solemn's not the best, because they're just beating our face in, but... Yeah, I'll side out Solemn, actually. And then we'll just keep the Torrential... Actually, Torrential Mirror don't seem that good, either. We're bringing all this. Maybe even Cyber Dragon. We have a lot of Cyber Dragon-type effects in the Infernal Guy, though. And the Quick Draw, so... I don't think we specifically need extra ones. We could add the Plasma. Plasma's not bad in this matchup, just like Priority Take a Guy. Maybe I'll leave in Solemn. Solemn seems like the most rational of the back row, because we can like have a turn where we go Decree Solemn. Yeah, it makes sense. This should be okay. Okay, opening hand, we don't have a way to use this Soul Exchange, but we do have Breaker, and we do have a few other good cards. I think Treeborn's actually pretty good in this matchup, because it's just a little wall. We'll probably use Breaker... We'll try to use Breaker early, question mark? I'm not sure. Solemn Treeborn, not exactly a combo, but it's better to draw the Solemn before we draw the Decrees. So, I think I'm going to go for Breaker and try to pop. No, that's silly. I think it's just set Treeborn. I don't think we need to play too aggressively in this matchup. I think I would like to maybe Black Rose a big field with Solemn back up. Stratos isn't bad, but it's not necessarily good either because it doesn't make use of the soul exchange, and if we summon it, they can start crashing their recruiters, which I don't love. Okay. Let's just pass again. I mean, we're in the same spot. We're in the same spot, more or less. Once we draw a monarch, we can set our solemn... Cross Sword Beetle and Gokapon. Okay, this is piercing damage. It's actually a big deal. What is this guy? If an insect monster you control attacks defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. Okay, I'm going to take piercing. That's annoying. We'll take 800 from this garbage. Yeah, I just want to draw a monarch. <laughs> that would be nice. In my dedicated monarch deck, there we go. Finally, a monarch. We'll activate Treeborn Frog. Special Summon in Defense. 
Name phase one. So I'm thinking this might be a turn where we soul exchange. And I'm thinking we sacrifice the Gokupon. I just want to stunt the aggression. And then Ryza will activate target cross sword. Just want to clear the monsters. We can even set Solemn at this point. They're going to chain skill drain. That's fine. That means they can't get over the Ryza and then the Treeborn becomes a pretty decent wall. We can save Solemn for like, I don't know, the counter to our Heavy Storm or our Royal Decree when we do end up finding it, or we can save it for a Solidarity, which we might have to do. Skill Drain makes it so this dude doesn't pierce anymore, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, here's Howling Insect, that's totally fine. Battle phase, they're just gonna run over the Treeborn, I'm assuming. Yep. They set multiples, so I'm thinking they have Road, and the new card is gonna be either a Lair Wire or a Removal Spell. We'll see how that goes. No new, no new set cards. Drawing another evil guy. Not ideal. Alright, we'll just try to run over the cross sword. D prison? Yeah, I'll just solve that. I think it's it's good to keep that in play. Skill drain isn't really helping them out too much now, because they don't have defense for it. What I really need to find now at this point. I should set this, actually, set the debris. Yeah, I'm going to do that. What I really need to find at this point is I need to find either Royal Decree or, yeah, here's Solidarity, but that doesn't pump up the Howling Insect enough for me to care. It still doesn't even get over the debris. That's actually a problem. So that's actually an issue. All right, so we're going to take 300 here. And they are going to attack the set. There's no way they don't attack the set. Yep. And it's Debris Dragon. But now we need to find something, because Skill Drain is kind of shutting off everything we're doing. And unfortunately, our out for it this game was not Heavy Storm or Royal Decree or Space Typhoon. It was this shit. Standby phase. Okay, they're going to hit me with rivalry. This is awesome. Okay. Uh, kind of unlucky for us. Hmm. I think it's just set level leader. We can't really do anything else. Can't bring back the treeborn because of the rivalry. I think we might be dead. That being the case... Here comes that Techpede. Yeah, I think we're just dead now. They had a bunch of floodgates and we didn't have any outs. I'll admit defeat here. We'll go to the next game. And then in this game, do we want to change anything? No. Nah, I think our deck is just better. We just didn't draw that well. And they had like specifically exactly what they needed. So I think this game will just draw better and beat them. That's the plan. Vanity's Fiend is good against the Battle Recruiters. That much is true. Maybe we do that over the Debris. Because Debris is not great into Rivalry. Yeah. This seems good. We could also bring the Dust Shoot back in, but their monsters are redundant and terrible, so there's no real reason to like Dust Shoot them. I think this is fine. I honestly think that this configuration is fine. We've bricked the first two games. We might have too many evil guys. I might need to cut one of those. Watch this game. We don't draw one. Oh, there's one. That's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to play all three of these. Just to get the vibes right. And I am going to Thestalos them on the first turn of the game. I think. Yeah. I think it's fine. Just trade card for card and then get a 2400 beater in play. See what we can hit. 
we hit a howling insect now that's not actually good because now their lair wires are live and their solidarity is live but if that was their only monster then it was good show i don't know we'll see i'm gonna set the typhoon because there's a lot of instances in which we will want to use it and i don't think they're on heavy storm so i think it's fine yeah here comes kamakiri that's chill here comes verdant sanctuary that's chill so they did open verdant one of the three games there's an extra solidarity that's also chill uh i'm not sure which one i want a typhoon i think here i think i just typhoon the verdant we can out the solidarity with mobius and kamikiri can't float into a beater that gets over thestalos so they're just going to be able to get another kamikiri here and it's that that's it and it just like accomplished nothing next turn we can brain mobius and then hopefully just win yeah If they have rivalry, I believe Brain kills the Kamakiri. I could also just Mobius first. But I think I think this is fine. Yeah. I am gonna target both. I mean I'm not afraid of anything. Yep. And then we'll hit for 48, and then that should be that. I don't see them really mounting a comeback with this deck. I mean, they could stick a, an annoying little battle guy, but other than that, I don't really see anything happening that's going to really screw our day up. Rivalry might be annoying, but we still keep, like, the biggest monster. And they'd have to have rivalry, like, now. Skill Drain at this point is a dead card. All of their, like, Verdant Sanctuary stuff is, like, pretty dead at this point. I'm just going to full send with both. I know the Stratos is lethal, but I don't need to risk it into a sweeper for no reason, like Torrential. They're forced to basically Torrential me by summoning their own card at this point. Bow phase, attack, attack. GG's. GG's. That's the strength of the Monarchs. Turn 1 Thestalos. Kind of hype, actually. That's the reason I added this guy to the deck. He works well with the evil guy on the first turn of the game. It's kind of sick. I like this deck a lot. I think it's pretty good. I think it's got a lot of potential. We haven't gotten to do any of the busted quick draw stuff, even though Junk, I believe the Junk guy did win the first game. But I think it's it's possible that it's like actually good. Good luck, have fun. Picking rock. This guy's typing a lot. Big fan, but only if I win. No, I'm just kidding. Huge fan. Give him a heart. Paper. I'll pick rock again. I'll pick rock again. Yep. We got him. 2-0 oh, in rock, paper, scissors. I'm on my A game. The last video I did, the Gladiator Beast video, I lost every rock, paper, scissors. That was brutal. But this video... This hand is good. <laughs> Wait, this hand is really good. <laughs> This hand just does all the stuff. Again, we're just going to commit everything. This is just one of those decks where you kind of just brain off, summon guy, and hope he gets there. And that's what we're going to do. We're just brain off, summon guy, and hoping it gets there. If they can't out the Stratos, then we'll be able to sack him for a Monarch, and the advantage will cascade in our favor. If they don't want to commit to the board, then... Okay, here's Armageddon Knight. That's totally fine. This is kind of what I was talking about, actually. When people try to come back against Monarchs, like, one of the ways they come back is, like, Armageddon Send Plague, basically, or Armageddon Send whatever. So, Sending Malicious. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. All right, so we can Kaya something. We can Destalos the opponent. I'm liking the idea of just attacking first to see what's up just say hello tickle the opponent a little bit let's see what's up here with the attack 400 now do we want to trade the stratos 
with a card in the opponent's hand. And I think we do. I think we actually do want to sack this and get our Monarch value ASAP. So we'll go Firestorm Monarch, activate. We'll roll the dice. And we'll pick the middle card, because why not? It was Krebens. Okay, that puts them to three darks. But that does also take off the synchro play from the table, unless they have Power Well. If this is Power Well, then that means their two back row could be the Power Traps, Torrential Mirror Force Solemn, that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to try to force action with Quick Draw into Dandy. If it is Torrential, they'll be forced to do it now. Okay. Yeah, I want to force a Solemn if possible. That would be ideal. And then I'm going to activate this guy. Effect Banish. Let's see if they have a Phoenix Ring Limb Blast that they want to use. Okay, question mark. If they have a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, they have to activate it now. We will still end up discarding. Okay. So we'll discard Quick Draw Synchron and Banish Drill Warrior. Next turn, we'll be able to add back either Stratos, Standing or Quick Draw. I think we're okay here. I think we're okay. I will Torrential if they go for an 8 star play. Most likely, I might not. Who knows? I might not. I actually, let me think. I guess that gives me the option to add back Thestalos next turn, even though I'd rather add back Dandelion. Hmm. I don't know if I'll Torrential if they go for an 8-star play. We shall see. Militia is going to activate. That's totally chill. This is probably not a good matchup, because their deck is just, like, more combo-heavy and faster than ours, and we didn't draw our Crow. Yeah, there's the Power Well. Okay, so they're able to go for the 8-star play... think here I think I want to go for torrential I think this is a good point to go for torrential we're down a lot though like we're actually down a lot I mean we're not down a lot we're technically up a card because drills gonna come back add us a card and then we're gonna draw a card this is not a good dark armed I disagree with this dark arm from the opponent it's not a good one you don't want to just drop Dark Arm for damage. I think that's a bad play. But I guess it's not getting much better against Drill Dandy. So, eh. Maybe they're just engaging in a race. Alright, Drill's going to come back. Drill's going to add... Huh. So I either have to sack my Drill, or I have to... This is really tough. Yeah, I either have to sack my drill or I have to add back something that's not dandy. And I think in the case that it's something, I'm adding back something that's not dandy, I'm adding back probably Thestalos. And then going main phase. Um, effect to have. So we'll have drill, and then I will attack with it. I'm just trying to force some of the back row. If there's like a deep prison or something, mirror force. Okay, beautiful. Then main phase two, I can special evil guy. They have main deck royal oppression. That's going to be pretty good. Holy shit. That would explain the upstarts and everything else in their deck. Okay. Well, that's going to get us a pretty fucking insane start from the opponent. Really solid. This is like some Teledad vibes. This is really gross. Yeah, I don't know how we come back from this. That's crazy. This is part of the reason why I was citing Royal Oppression in that deck to begin with, but just putting it in the main is kind of nuts, actually. 
All right, the Bree Dragon. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. We are just dead. I don't think we have any outs. I guess we have Storm Typhoon next turn. If they have any monster, then they can just summon it. Even a special summon kills us, because we can't negate it, because it will kill us. Phantom Sky Blaster. Sure. That works. It says no effect. That You didn't need to know it. You could have... I mean, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Either way. All right. That was tough. That was really tough. I think Vanity is going to be good here. I think... Probably Mobius is okay. I mean, if they have Royal Oppression, then we've got to have Breaker Mobius. And then against Krebins, I do like Soul Exchange. And against the Synchros, I do like Soul Exchange. Just having, like, extra monster outs. DD Crow's probably going to be good. Jesus, that Royal Oppression really fucked us up. That was unfortunate. The whole reason I built this deck in the first place is because, like, people are cutting Royal Oppression from their decks. That was a brutal one. I do like all of this. Call of the Haunted is probably one of the weaker cards. We did also hit the Krebins. That's so funny. Oh, man. Okay. I think... I think we go out on the upstarts. We don't want to give them, like, extra life points. I think this is going to be a race matchup. I think we go out on... I might even bring in the Gores in this matchup. Nah, that's kind of silly. Maybe it's not that silly. Huh. I'll side out a Thestalos. Well, actually, we're going first. Thestalos is pretty good going first. I'll maybe side out a Ryza going first. And we'll try this. It's possible we just want the upstarts over the soul exchanges going first, too. But I think having extra play under Royal Oppression is too important. And I think the game is going to go beyond the first turn for the most part. So here we are. Okay, Allure of Darkness can find us something. Trap Dust Shoot, so we will play it. Did not find us Trap Dust Shoot. Which of these is going to be better, Vanity's Fiend or Caius the Shadow Monarch? I think with this hand, Caius the Shadow Monarch is going to be better, so we'll banish Vanities. I'm going to set Treeborn, and I'm not going to set anything else. Next turn, we'll be able to sack for Caius and make a drill with Typhoon to help push that through. So, uh, should be able to play through any two back row. Any three, it's going to be a little bit more tough. Especially if one of them is like pulling the rug or something. Well, 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 well. Let's start out with the obvious. Destalos. Activate. Yeah, there's the pulling. Okay. They set three with no fucking backup, didn't they? That's funny. I'll set the Typhoon and pass. Hmm. Phantom Sky Blaster. Yeah, sure. This card doesn't seem all that great. I mean, it's pretty good in these types of decks. I think it's better in the Flamvel decks, but... Special Summon Tokens, 500, 500, up to the number of monsters you control. All right, we'll take 1,100. During your standby phase, you can inflict, and then Sky Blaster monsters you control cannot attack the turn you activate this. All right, we'll just pick off one of the back row. Solemn. Okay, that was the defense. That makes sense. All right, standby phase. We bring back Treeborn. Main phase one. We go sack for Caius. Caius is going to activate, target the Sky Blaster. Just want to keep the darks banished. And then I do want to attack over the token. They're going to deprison here. All right, I'm not going to set the Mirror Force. I don't think we really need to. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Siding both Pulling the Rug and Vanities and Drum with a Solemn. That's crazy. That's nuts. 
That's not a bad draw. We'll utilize it later. Let's see if they have the Typhoon 2 for the game. Oh my fucking god, they do. That's insane. That was a really good draw from the opponent. That was a really, really good draw. If we go to game three, which I'm sure we might end up doing. All right, set this past the turn. If they have a Caius, we lose. If we do go to game three, I am going to heavily consider Royal Decree. I think Royal Decree is going to be actually really good here. Yeah. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Tarantula's big. Standby phase, we treeborn. Main phase one, we're gonna pitch level eater. Special summon quick draw. There's a good chance they have gores. So I'm gonna play around that by not, uh, not attacking, more or less. We'll synchro first into drill. There's no reason to level leader now. And then I will pitch the evil guy because he's the most useless. Oh, I should have brought back the level leader. Whatever. Uh, not a big deal. I'll probably 90% of the time I'm going to be torrentialing anyway if my opponent goes for any play. So um, that's going to be that regardless. Next turn, we'll try to bring back. So here comes Phantom Sky Blaster. This is going to special summon a token. Uh, sure. Special summon the token, and then I'll go for Torrential. They still have, they only have two darks, I think. No, they have three darks. They can dark arm kill me. But if they drew dark armed on top of all this, I mean, good job. <laughs> well done. You deserve the victory. Okay, looks like they did not. Standby phase, we'll bring back Treeborn first. And then Drill Warrior. And Drill Warrior will add back. I think that's Delos. Probably a safe one. And then I will go for the Thestalos. Hopefully we don't hit another monster and they ha end up having gores because that would be really bad. Hopefully we just hit the gores. Okay, we hit brain. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'll activate level eater, bring it back in defense, eating the drill warrior. Hmm. Now here's the question. Do we have the drill warrior then attack with it? Because if we do and they have gores, then we should be okay. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Effect to have. I mean, we need to start winning the game. So, I'll attack directly for 12. If they have gores, then they have gores. Good. Question mark. Yep, okay, cool. Then we'll go Drill Warrior, Pitch, Quick Draw, Banish, and then pass the turn. So we have a couple pieces of defense, Brain Control's off the table, a couple other things we could do. I like Thestalos because he's like proactive into these sort of states. They have a Malicious Engrave, so they can do something there. I wonder if there's a way they could Mistworm me. With Mind Control, they could Mistworm me. That'd be bad. That'd be bad. We just don't have Dandy for defense, so we're kind of like in a weird spot. And we took too much damage from that fucking Vanity Fiend. Maybe we should have set a card on one of those turns. Now that I'm thinking about it. Who knows? Next turn we get Treeborn and Drill. Cause this is going to sound weird. Hmm. It's in defense. It's in defense mode. Oh, 
Yeah, he's experiencing a bug. Yeah. I would not have summoned it in attack mode and not attacked with it. I'm probably dead to an Urukis this play then, if he's asking that question. If he has like four star plus E Telly, that's Urukizis. I think that deck does play Urukizis. It either plays Urukizis or it plays Gaia Knight for the additional six. Especially if you have this motherfucker in your deck, you definitely have multiple sixes. Yep, that's gonna be Armas and Plague, and then Urukizis for game. Yeah. GG's. That's a tough matchup. I think he drew really fucking well. And then also, I think he, um, yeah, I just think he drew really fucking well. Which is fine. Oh, this is also Dark End for game two. If Malicious is in deck. I don't know why he was thinking so long about all this. Yeah, if he doesn't have a Rukizis, then he can just Dark End. Dark End pop the Thesty, Armageddon attack over the level leader, and then make. Maybe he was just thinking because it was bugged. GG's. GG's. Game 1, Royal Oppression. Brah, that's whack. And then Game 2, Vanity's Fiend plus Pulling the Rug. Also whack, but it's going to get us here. Opponent's taking 16 million fucking years to summon their Dark End Dragon. Like, you can you can summon the Dark End Dragon. It's You can do it. I believe. I believe in you. I believe in you. You can... You can make it happen. What? Are we just miss lethal gang? Are we just miss lethal gang? Is that... Hey, we take those. We fucking take those. We fucking take those, dude. Okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. He's gonna type something about not having dark end. I can already tell. It's gone. You can refresh. It should fix the bug. Yeah. So it just showed up on your screen. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. They really did miss lethal. Is there a way we can get over this thought ruler now? Yes, right? So we'll go treeborn back. Drill back. And drill can add back quick draw. And quick draw will get us to a way around this stupid thought ruler and then we have fucking solemn judgment for game wow are we gonna steal this our opponent that was just dark end pop the guy armageddon knight over the level leader dark end direct for 2100 like crazy okay um main phase one so we go strato search the way we get over thought ruler is nitro warrior right like that's the way we get over it yeah, and we'll level leader eat the drill. So yeah, there we go. Strato search. Well, we're not gonna be able to banish the drill though. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. We got to do what we got to do. We'll go strato search. Oh, he's back. Normal summon stratos. Activate. Search for e infernal guy. Infernal guy is gonna be the pitch for the quick draw. And then level leader is going to come back. And that's going to eat a level on Drill Warrior. And then we can make Nitrous Oxide Warrior or whatever. And we just need to attack over two monsters. I still don't want to proc Gores. Because then we lose our Drill. Well, maybe it's, maybe it's fine. Let's just... Let's just start off with the obvious ones. And then I'll think about if I want to proc... I don't know if I want to do that. I think it's just set solemn. I think it's just set solemn. I am going to bring back the level leader again. And eat another drill warrior level. Do we pitch solemn or do we set it? Five darks and grave. I'm gonna fucking set it. If he has like dark creator or something crazy, I'm gonna lose my fucking brain. So I'm gonna set solemn judgment. Wow, what a game. He didn't he doesn't have dark end. You don't have dark end in your mono dark deck. You're missing something. You're missing something. It is the dark end dragon. That's crazy. That's actually crazy that we won that game. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. That was 
that was a steal. That was a fucking steal, dude. Okay, Royal Decree looks pretty good. He does have a lot of trap cards. I think Gore's Battle Fader, they look okay-ish to a degree. Ryza's going to be better than Thestalos, I think, on the draw. I think Royal Decree is pretty good. I do want to bring it in. I do think Solemn Trenchel are good. I think Mirror Force is not the best. I think maybe Dust Shoot going second is not the best. He has a lot of back row. And we don't have the upstarts to see it consistently enough when it matters. So I'm going to cut it. Now, the only thing is, like, do we want, like, Cyber Dragons as just a way to vomit out a Monarch over stuff like Level Eater, maybe? Like, we could cut a Level Eater, maybe cut a Debris Dragon, bring in the two Cyber Dragons, and then we can maybe have the Thestalos in, the third Thestalos, and then just be on, like, 11 Monarchs. Yeah, maybe that's not bad. Is it Thestalos over Dark Armed? We'll try it. I'm not sure, but we'll try it. This is just going to be Mono Monarch. Mono work. Kill me. Uh, okay, what do we got? Nice. Sounds pretty good. We got Breaker for the back row. Although Breaker does run into pulling the rug, which is quite funny. There's Stratos. Okay. So that can search for Malicious. Not sure what our plan's gonna be. Do we lead on the evil guy? Who knows? They have plasma in their deck? That makes sense. With the sky blasters, that that makes sense. That could have been one of the cards they bricked on last game too. How interesting. Right, Quick Draw is not doing too much. They have multiple back row, which is fucking annoying. We do have an out to the plasma, so I'm just gonna try for I think Evil Guy Thestalos. Gets me two for one to a rug. I'll try for breaker. I think it's the safest. They are going to wind blast the breaker. Pitching Mally. Okay. I'll set torrential and pass. Let's see. Do they have typhoon? No. Okay, cool. Maybe it's storm. Who knows? They can Mally, but that's okay. Man, this is tricky. We're getting Breaker next turn, so if their back row doesn't get used, Breaker can pop it. Hmm. Which means if it is Solemn, then they should go for a play unless they're planning on Soloming the Breaker. I'm going to chain this Torrential. Not the best Torrential. They can still, like, eat Tilly Mally. Okay, not the case. They set a new back row. I still want to lead with Breaker. I think going two for one into Rug doesn't make a lot of sense. And then I'll pop their first back row because they did Wind Blast us. So I think that's the one we want to pop. Nice. Easy plus one. And then 1600 direct. D Prison. They are going to keep the board clear. Hmm. They have Malicious. Next turn we can make either Nitro or Thestalos go from there we could even make nitro this turn if we wanted to but no real reason to other than to like maybe buffer damage but that'll just lead them to make colossal fighter as their eight star which i really don't want them to do so yeah here's armageddon knight that's fine that can send plague plague plus alley can make like stardust or whatever i'm not sure what they want to make if they don't have back row it is actually better for them to make colossal fighter it's just the most damage and it's the hardest for me to get over but if they do have back row, then we lose anyway, so. We're just in a bad spot. No cap. Wow, no 8 star, just 1400. I'll give him a thumbs up. And a pass. Interesting. Level Eater is good. Level Eater is good here. So, how do we play this turn? I think it's Special Evil Guy. Pitch level eater for quick draw. Special back level eater. Sack the level eater for Thestalos. Yeah, I think I think we have some plays. Let's go ahead and start off. So we got evil guy first. Pitch level eater for quick draw. 
activate level eater. Let's see if they have crow. Looks like they do not. So that's gonna make our quick draw level four. So this can be drill here. Then we can sack this for Thestalos. Thestalos is gonna activate. I low-key wish Delg was in this format. I would play that card. Like I actually think Delg is like would be really good. That's funny. Okay. Um yeah, I guess it is just bring back the level leader off drill. Yeah, it makes the most sense. So we go synchro into drill. Level eater comes back. If we go attack position, it's a little bit better, I think. Yeah, I think it's a little bit better to go in attack position because it's just more damage. And we're, we're in a race situation, so there's a thousand over the Armageddon Knight, and then we'll go 600 direct with level eater, and if they have gores, fuck me, but what can you do? I think if they have gores, we lose on the spot. Looks like they do not. Now we can pitch Thessalos to banish for drill, and then we have... I don't think we have an outlet to Junk Archer next turn for game, but there are a lot of draws that give us that outlet. Because, like, level leader plus quick draw is whatever's. Okay, Plague Activate. Let's chill. And then they want to shuffle that card away. So whatever it is they drew, they wanted to shuffle it away. Their Power Well is live because we discarded a Mind Master, but I don't think that really accomplishes much onto this board. They can make, like, I don't even know. I don't even know what they can make here. Because, like, how does Turbo Warrior read? Yeah, we can we can get over a lot of stuff with Turbo Warrior. If they don't make specifically Colossal, we can get over it with Turbo Warrior. So, that could be a route to victory. Provided their card in hand's not a back row. If it's a back row, then we're in a weird spot. Okay, Thought Ruler. This is going to keep them alive. This is going to keep them alive a little bit longer than I would have liked. But Turbo Warrior will still deal with it, I think. So we take 300 and they gain 24. Which is fine, honestly. Um, I'm okay engaging in this. Ooh, back row's annoying. Okay. Standby phase drill activates. Let's see if they have Royal Oppression. They do not. Drill's gonna add back. <sighs> this is tricky. I think it's quick draw. Yeah, I think it's quick draw. So I'll go main one and then. Man, what are the chances it's torrential tribute? One in a million, right? I think it's too greedy. If we're just going to sack for Ryza anyway, it's too greedy. So I'm just going to activate Drill. Effect to Banish. We'll pitch Quick Draw again. And then I will sack Level Leader for Ryza. And then Ryza, activate, target, Thought Ruler. Okay, they have Pulling the Rug. Okay. I missed 1200, but next turn I can at least rise of the Thought Ruler. Okay. Okay. And they're top decking, and they have three darks, so that's problematic. That is definitely problematic. And if they draw any other back row, that's fucking bad for us. Unless the back row is Phoenix Wing Windlast, in which case it's decent for us. Oh, wow, this is super good. Okay, so standby phase, we go drill. Drill will add back Ryza. Is it Ryza or is it? Hold up, hold the fuck up. If it's quick draw, then we go turbo, but then we don't float the drill. I think it's just Ryza. I think Ryza is just the safest. And then we'll go level eater, special summon back. 
Sack for Ryza, Ryza the Thought Ruler. Then we will Level Eater, the Drill again. Ah, think on position. Do we want it in defense or attack? We're at 36. Have they used brain control? No. I think we just put it in defense because brain control can kill us. And that's a card that they may, might not have wanted to commit. So I think I'll go defense and then I'll go attack with drill, attack with Ryza, and it doesn't really affect the clock. I mean, it kind of does because it means like next turn drill direct is lethal. But I think we're just good to win this regardless. Close match, fucking close match. We still die to a couple of different things, like brain control dark armed kills us, like just dark armed any monster kills us. GG's, GG's. Game two, if you went dark end, I died. Yeah, dark end was game. Yeah, the turn you went thought ruler, dark end was lethal. Yeah. Says I did not have Dark End in there. Gotta fix that. Gotta fix that. Dark End is Dark End is too good in those decks. It's like, yeah, it just gives you so many game shots. Wow, that was fucking crazy. I thought we were done that game. That was nuts. That was an insane comeback. We haven't had a comeback like that on the channel in a while. It's been a lot of fucking shutouts. Oh my goodness. What a game. What a game. Cool deck. Cool deck. Do I want to play one more is the real question. Do I want to play one more? Do I want to play one more with a bonus match deck list? Do I want to play one more with a different deck? I'm not sure. Let me look through my deck list real quick. What have I got in store for you children today? What does Grandpa Keegan got with his fucking, in his bag of tricks, fucking Gandalf with the fireworks in my cart right now, I'm pulling out fucking Edison deck lists, what do I got? There's gotta be something interesting I could close this video out with. Fuck it, ancient gear, let's go. Fuck it, ancient gear. I was thinking about this deck a lot lately. I think it's good as fuck. We're gonna go play a game with it. It's gonna be nice. Okay, Edison format. Boom. Let's go. We're going to play against Judgy Dragon. Don't judge me, bro. Shit, we lost rock, paper, scissors. But that's okay. That means we get the battle phase. And you know what that means? It means limiter fucking removal, baby. It's in my starting hand. I'm visualizing it. I'm manifesting it right now. Let's go. Fuck. It's the sixth card. It's the sixth. This hand sucks. <laughs> I mean, it sounds okay, actually. It could be worse. Depends on what we're playing against. Compulsory could be a bad card in a lot of matchups. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean... <laughs> I'm gonna make the play. I'm gonna make the play. We're gonna go terraforming. Search for Gear Town. Set Gear Town, activate Heavy Storm. Prage. One time. One time for the fans. One time for the fans. One time for the fans. It's gonna chain Typhoon on the Gear Town. Sorry, sorry, what? Is that what's happening here? Sorry, what? I'm gonna ask for clarification. Heavy Storm, okay. They're not gonna chain Typhoon. Cool, you should chain Typhoon there because that would make your town miss timing. But it looks like they are not. And we are gonna get the Ancient Gear Boy. And we are gonna get Machina Fortress, in play, boom, 25 hundo, 
is 5,500 damage, and then we have compulsory to stop any summon, and hopefully just OTK next turn with the, well, not OTK, OTK over the course of two turns. You get the idea. One turn kill over two turns. It's a one turn, two turn kill. <laughs> okay, here's Black Whirlwind. That doesn't matter. That's a non-card. Here's Sirocco, and we will just, nope. Gadgeltron Dragon is game, baby. We're going to game two. That was a nice one. That was nice. That was real nice. No search. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Ooh, that was clean. Okay, what do we got for black wings in our sideboard? Uh, yeah, you get a GG for that one. You get a G you get a GG for that one. A little bit of a GG for that one. We got a Sirocco. <laughs> Just a Randy, <laughs> Randy Sirocco. I think our deck's pretty pre for Black Wings already. We could bring in the Torrential as well. I think Torrential's pretty good against Black Wings. And the Dust Tornadoes, of course, for Royal Oppression. You gotta have them. We did open Heavy Storm. All right, I get it. We did open Heavy Storm. I think the Ancient Gear Beast is not the best in this matchup. He's probably our worst monster. And then I do think the Dust Tornadoes are pretty important. So I'm gonna bring that in over probably Trap Dust Shoot. And the other one is gonna be over... I don't fucking know, man. Cyber Dragon, maybe? Shit, I don't know. This matchup's tricky. We might be two monster light now. We cited out three monsters for one. Hopefully our traps can just do some heavy lifting. I could have brought in Gores in this matchup, too. I think Gores is pretty good against Black Wings. That might have been a choke. Probably should have brought him in over one of my spells or traps. I guess Gear Town kind of counts as a monster, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Why, why did you let me go first? Is that a misclick? Bro. Bro, you always want to go first in Edison. You always want to go first in Edison. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're testing. It doesn't matter what you're testing. Always want to go first. You always want to go first. Always, always, always. Since we're mid-match, I'm going to finish it out. Normally, I wouldn't finish it out against someone who doesn't, doesn't understand these things, but... Yeah, you always want to go first. There's zero fucking reason like even even in like weird cases where you're like oh i want to test going second it's like you will get a chance to go second you know what i mean like this is gonna happen you know all right we have typhoon for oppression we have road for icarus and then we have machina fortress plus two reborns that should just be the game yep now imagine you had gone first <laughs> There's a Black Whirlwind, there's a Sirocco, nope, that's going to get Typhooned, and that's going to be that. That's going to be that. Setting before the battle phase, unique move, unique maneuver. Not attacking the Stardust, basically telegraphing no Kalut. These are all fine, we can't negate an oppression, but shouldn't matter. I think the Gadget Dragon's worse to have in hand than the Golem, so we'll pitch the Gadget Dragon, especially some of the Machina Fortress. Bottomless. Okay, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Oh, I should have negated that. I'm being stupid. Oh, I should have negated that. Fuck. Now I'm choking. Whatever. I'll draw another Fortress. I'm not pressed. All right. Pass the turn. They don't have anything for Blizzy. Kalut does let them get over the Stardust, though, which is annoying. Yeah. Yippers. Set monster. Not really where you want to be. Okay, kids. Is it Ancient Gear Golem time? <laughs> you know, it might be. Might just be. 
All right, fuck it. Fuck it, let's pierce for 3,000. Let's see how far that gets us. That's a thousand percent of Bayou. It says, damn. Oh, it's a Blizzy. Oof. <laughs> yeah, you're setting Blizzies. That's not good. Yeah, it's not a good look. I think it's piercing time, baby. Okay, maybe they drew a Kalut or an Icarus or something. Huh. What did I tell you? <laughs> what did I tell you, folks? What did I tell you? I knew I'd draw a fortress. Let's see that Kalut, baby. Let's see it. Nope. No Kalut. Attack for 3k. Maybe they were just summoning it. They have gores? Shit, I... <laughs> That's fine, though. That's actually fine. Because we have two threats. They're at 800. They can't really brain. Crazy hand from them. Let's see if they have dad, too. Do they have dad, too? That would be nuts. If they had heavy storm, whirlwind, dark armed gores. In the top eight. That would be pretty crazy. Looks like it's just a Bora. All right. These two are going to die. Token's going to die. There we go. This is going to attack. This guy's going to activate in the graveyard. And this is going to blow up the cores. When Machine of Fortress is destroyed by battle, it gets to destroy a card on the field. I could also destroy... No, it has to target a card. I was thinking I could maybe destroy Gear Town, but I can't because it has to be something the opponent controls. Now they're going to attack for 17, which is totally chill. Any field spell is insane. Uh, we already have access to Fortress, so that's great. Peacekeeper is really good too. Yeah, we'll just pitch this guy. Bring out the Fortress. Normal summon Peacekeeper. Nah, there's no real reason to do it. GG's. He has no clue. Yeah, always, always go first, man. Always, always, always go first. There's no reason to let your opponent go first. You get a free plus one. You get all the initiative. Like, just getting your cards down before, like, getting your whirlwind search, getting your whatever, is just so much better than, like, just letting your opponent go first. There's no real reason to do it. In any case, that's going to wrap up this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And, you know, drop a comment below. I love reading the comments. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Go check out that box battle video. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I want to say. Go check out that box battle video. That shit is fucking hype. Peace.